from my perspective, the best thing about education in Patchway schooling generally is that we have a diverse community here and it pulls together in a way that enriches children's lives, not just purely academically, but in a, in a broadest of senses. And I think that education here is some of the best and what we have currently in Patchway and surrounding areas are a high proportion of what I would class as very good schools and people who genuinely care about education, genuinely care about education in its broadest of senses and pull together as a community of schools and as a wider community of people to give the very best education to children. The best thing about being in school is learning things that you enjoy and being with your friends. The key is to really ensure that we have high quality teaching and learning going on in our schools and really supporting their personal development and growth and this is improving all the time. It's improving because we've got really robust leadership who are driving improvement forward and more than that it's engaging the community to a very high level so everyone's involved in the education of all of our children. Our overriding motto for students in Patchway Community College is that we sh we're, we're striving to improve outcomes so that every student, every child has the choice of going to university. And that doesn't mean that we want every child to go to university because it's not right for some, it's not right for some career routes, um, but we want them to be able to enjoy education, enjoy learning, um, to want to do that more and to have aspirations for themselves. So they're looking to uh, make a career or to start a career and maybe change it. Um, but our job is to equip them for that. So our core purpose is to get them um, the best GCSEs we can. And then if they choose to stay with us, the best A-levels or the best B-techs to make their next step. So I do maths, chemistry and finance. Um, and I would really love to go and do uh, maths at university. Um, and eventually become a maths teacher. Well, I would like to go off and do a finance apprenticeship somewhere. And I never really knew that that was something that I wanted to do. So I was always very scared by numbers and things like that when I was a kid, because I didn't really like maths. But um, all the teachers here really kind of found that that would be something I'd be good at and something that I could really enjoy if I put my head to it. So they kind of made me see it in a different light and they made me push on and see that it was something that I could eventually do. I think it's really important to engage in your learning here and to really get stuck in and I think by doing that that will help you find ultimately where you want to go, where you want to be um, and then it doesn't have to end here, you can go on to uni um, but some people may find alternate paths and apprenticeships, things like that and I think the school will help guide you to where you want to be ultimately um, and they're really really good at that here at helping you find where you want to go um, and helping you get there. So parents are uh, in classes, um, in reception, they, they drop in for um, 10 minutes each morning uh, as they start the, start the year, um, so they get to settle their children and see what their children are doing. But it's something that we carry on throughout the school up to year six. So we do have an open door policy um, which welcomes parents in and welcomes families in um, and always thinking about how that's going to help their child succeed at our school. We have to find out who our community are, what different kind of um, families we have, where backgrounds, where they're from, they're the community we serve. And then wherever they're from, whoever they are, we seek to serve them in the best way we possibly can. We offer support for anybody with a child between the ages of 0 to 5. Our work is loosely split into two sections, so we run groups from the Children's Centre. Some of them, anybody are welcome to, anybody can attend. Some of them are for targeted people, like young mothers or children with additional needs. The other side of our work is that we can go out into people's homes and do one-to-one -one work, or you know, work with the whole family around an identified need, and that could come from your health visitor or come from a preschool. Examples of things that we've helped with have been housing issues, uh, behaviour problems for child, children, um, play experiences, children with additional needs, um, finance issues, and some of the you know further end stuff like things like domestic abuse. Um, you know, so we, we offer really holistic support. If I was to describe Patchway in three words, it'd be homely. Um, probably ambitious and just all round great to be quite honest.
community engagement forums. They're a forum for the community to engage with the police, the fire service, the local council, their local councillors, their parish councillors, and they're basically an opportunity for residents to come together with all of those service providers and discuss any concerns or issues that they might have about their community, hopefully bring some positives. We're working really hard to, to target different demographics within the community um, to get new people along. So yeah, we'd absolutely welcome new residents. We have groups here who have been here for maybe, well longer than me, maybe 25, 30 years. Um, during the day, from about eight o'clock in the morning onwards um, until four o'clock, there's a preschool in the main hall. In the afternoons, we fill the space with um, stuff like line dancing and uh, short mat bowls. And uh, our evening groups are mostly martial arts. We have a classroom, and uh, that's in pretty much full-time use now by South Gloucestershire for um, classes like English is a second language. They want to improve their English skills. So this is Blakeney Road allotment site and one of those allotments, the one just behind me, is our community allotment. So Patchway Green Spaces is about using spaces that there are in Patchway and there's a lot of space here um, and getting people involved with it, whether it's for producing food or flowers, making it look beautiful um, and just getting people to take pride in, um, in those areas and to learn new things. Patchway has a lot of green space, has a lot of um, grass and grassy areas and in front of houses there's a lot of space um, and so what this is about is using that for different things to improve the environment there's lots of bits of wildlife around and that's because people are creating um, havens for it in their garden and we're just trying to increase that so as well as this allotment we also um, do some work with the young people down at the youth center and as part of that we have created a map that just shows people where all those spaces are so those are spaces that have got food or herbs or flowers growing as well as kind of the more wild spaces that we've got um, in Patchway. there's walks on there to connect them so you can explore there's tips for foraging where there's uh, berries and fruits and things like that and the time of year to get that as well as recipes um, that you can do with those things. There's some stuff on there about living landmarks, which are um, plaques all around Patchway um, that tell you a bit about the history, what was there before. If you're interested in spending any time outside and contributing in any way to the green spaces of Patchway, we can definitely find a way to use your energy. Our twin towns are Gauting, which is in Bavaria in the south of Germany, and clermont lerroux down in the Hérault in the south of France. Why twinning? I think it opens up the perspectives of people living in this area to things, to the ideas that there are good things going on outside Patchway. So it's bringing people in, people who are friendly, people who come in with open minds. And it helps to open up the horizons of those who are living here. Why have we done this camp? Um, so it's come from the twinning committees of the three towns. So we really wanted to get young people interested and excited about twinning. There was something really unique about it for the, for the Patchway young people. Um, and the energy of the twinning committees has been really, really great, you know, across the adults and the young people. So actually the majority of the kids who've come from Patchway have never been abroad before. So they've never had that experience. So for them to get to know people from France and Germany has been something really, really quite unique. The kids from UK who were also there with us were really funny and there were kids, but it, it was still funny to, to do stuff with them, to play with them. And we even played football barefooted. So it was real fun and we enjoyed it all the time. It has been a great experience and I hope that everybody gets a chance to have that opportunity to do this and I would love to do it again someday. We want to be part of the community of Patchway. Uh, we want to be a place where people feel welcome if they move into Patchway and they already have a faith and here or uh, our brothers and sisters at the Roman Catholic Church Holy Family with Father Eugene or the Baptist Church with Andy or the other uh, churches around uh, that they find a home there uh, but also we like to think that we're a place that people can come to who don't have a faith and either are looking for uh, 
some, they've got some questions they want answering, or they're just looking for some friendship and a place to belong. We're aware that Patchway, as it stands, is a predominantly uh, um, Christian uh, place, and as such, people from, for example, a Muslim or a Hindu or a Sikh or Jewish background are very much in the minority. Um, we want to extend the hand of friendship and welcome to them. Uh, and so one of the pieces of work I'm doing through the Hate Crimes Partnership is to try to make contact with faith community leaders from other faith groups where we can meet together and shake hands and say, um, we would like to be there if you have members of your community who are struggling. Uh, we would want to feel that we can welcome them. So the Town Council is the grassroots layer of local government. We have responsibilities for services such as playing fields, community centres, um, facilities um, for children, play areas, and we help to fund a lot of activities in Patchway for those groups. Patchway is a very caring community and we like to keep the area clean and tidy and care for our neighbours so we encourage people to join local groups of which there are very many to take care of their properties to help their neighbours if they have problems. At the moment the population is about 12,000 but the new development is going to increase it by 50% and very pleased with the variety that's going to be added from the new population in Charlton Hayes. I think this is the exciting area and this is one of the reasons which drew us to Charlton Hayes because we want to be part of a growing community. So the purpose of the Charlton Hayes Residents Association is to be a catalyst where we can actually bring together all the various peoples living in the ever-increasing area of Charlton Hayes and we want to work with Patchway and with Charlton Hayes and with further developments that are taking place so that we would welcome people to come here whether you're young whether you're old but we will provide the well-being of a good modern community for everybody. I've been living here for three years, so now it's lovely. Like, we have got really nice neighbours. They help us a lot because, you know, we don't know a lot about Bristol, so sometimes they help us. We go shopping together sometimes. When I came, when I just, when I first worked in the council, my English was very simple and I didn't really know how to work on computer well. But, like, by the time I, like, I finished the festival, because I was doing the festival, I found myself, like, I completely changed, like, yeah, it was like, I was really surprised because I learned a lot, like, in English, computer, everything, and they were helping me a lot. Uh, when I came here, um, I was so excited because I thought, okay, now I, I can do whatever I want. So, yeah, when I learned English, um, I felt like I, I finished this GCSE now, I'm going to do A-level, so, like, I'm going, like, I'm on my way to achieve my dreams. Also, I feel so safe, like, when I sleep, I don't feel like I'm going, maybe today I'm going to die, maybe one, one member of my family will die because we are all here together, all my family, my dad, my sister, brother, mom, all, we're all here together. So we feel much safe and uh, we feel like, not only safe like we're not going to die, but like we feel safe about our future as well. So all my, my sister, my brother, me, we're all going to have like bright future. So Seven Brooks is an organisation that was set up 28 years ago, just as Bradley Stoke was being built. So the building blocks for the work that we do are, are separated into three core areas. So building sustainable communities, and we do that by reducing poverty, reducing loneliness and isolation, and bringing people together. Learning and development, so making sure people can get the skills they need for the jobs they want for the future. And that starts right from early childhood, so making sure that people get a good experience of, of growing up in Patchway is really important. And then improving health and well-being. So we run lots of projects that are around early intervention work, 
getting good messages out there, it's helping people lead successful, fulfilling lives and to actively be able to contribute to their communities. So, so people tell us that they want to give back and that they want to be part of community life. And that's where the Patchway Festival comes in. It's a great way of bringing people together. The premise of the festival is to celebrate the life, but also the businesses in Patchway, the people in Patchway, and, and new residents, so, so that people can find out about what's going on. We have a theme every year. We work with community artists who go into the schools and work with the people to decide how they want to interpret that theme. This coming year is 25 years of Patchway Festival, so we're going to do a, a massive international celebration, including our twin towns, and making sure that the, the different community here now feels welcome at the festival. So we, we run lots of projects that reduce social isolation. We try and help people um, improve their income so there's less poverty in the town. We look for ways of developing skills that might be through volunteering or some work coaching. Um, and, and, and then the equalities work, which is, which is really important. What we want is a community where people are able to earn the money that they need if they're able to work, to get the support they need if they're going through a bad time and to see the potential that they have in themselves for their own futures and for the futures of their children. So Coniston Community Centre, first and foremost, says community centre. That's what, that's our main values, basically. We care about the community and enriching it. Um, when they come here, it's, whether they want, say, a meal, or they want to have rent a room for a Tai Chi class or a watercolourist class or anything you can think of or teach, we will make space for it, basically. Um, so we just have everything available, or we try and make as much available to everyone in the community, regardless of their background or anything, and we have it here with them. I get a lot of people from classes saying, I've met my neighbour for the first time here, I've known them, they've been on my road for 15 years, I've never had a cup of tea with them, and then they have from here. So it's more about knowing who's around you and what we have to offer. Without sounding like a cliche, there is something for everyone, from pole dancing classes to watercolourist classes, you name it, we have it. <laughs> The One Stop Shop is basically, we've put four of the One Stop Shops in each of our communities in the South Gloucestershire area and it's there to support the residents of, the, of South Gloucestershire Council and it can be for lots of different things, it can be people coming in for just general advice about their council tax bills, it can be people looking that are like slightly vulnerable and they just want some support with how to access our services that can support them um, with going forward. And most of the ticket machines that we've got set up to try and help customers are sort of set into categories, we've got things like housing benefits, Benefits, uh, council tax, got uh, concessory travel, which is things like bus passes. We've got house and triage service, and we work with North Bristol Debt Advice, um, talking money. We look at signposting customers as well. So if they come in to us and they say, "Well, actually, can I talk to you about this?" It's not a service the council deal with. We we try and use things like Google and other resources to find it, and then pass the customer on to those people. We've also offer other services in customer services. So we've got like the telephones with the contact centre. Um, we've got a lot of stuff online now. We do online forms. But what we're hoping to do now is move the one-stop shops forward to support customers with online services. So we'll be saying to customers, we'll come into the one-stop shop so we can support you with the digital sort of agenda um, and we have self-serve PCs. And I think it just offers that sense of community as well and it allows customers to come in and feel like they, it helps them integrate into their community. Well, Patchway Library is a community hub. It welcomes everybody of all ages and ethnic backgrounds um, to come and visit with a variety of services from children's events, from story time and rhyme time, free play on a Saturday, to chat books for the slightly older children, to adult activities as well. So we have community learning courses for those that want to learn how to better their maths or English um, and to get back into work as well and IT skills. As well as courses, we also run um, different adult events such as craft group, um, which we hold once a month on a Saturday. We're not just about books anymore, it's, it's so much more than that. So obviously we do have a, a variety of stock from dual language books, um, to information books, story books, um, a whole range of different things. But as well as that, we, ha we have prospectuses for different universities, um, as well as information. We have staff on hand to help 
um, as well as the courses that add that additional help as well. For new, new parents as well, we have lots of preschool activities going on. So it's, it's good for them, a safe place for them to come with other parents, to mingle and make new friends. Um, so it's, it's somewhere for everybody to come and feel safe. I work for a project called West of England Works. Uh, it's, for, it's part of Southern Brooks. It's a project that aims to get people back into work, education or training, um, or volunteering, um, which is another route into getting people job ready. It's completely person-centred. Whatever um, somebody wants to do, they come and tell me and we try and make it happen, really. I'm a voluntary photographer. It is opening up a great deal, getting out and about getting out and about and covering different things and keeping up the photography. So ways that you can access the project, um, there's lots of ways, either go onto the website, um, there's a drop box dro uh, along the menu at the top that says what we do and uh, if you sort of scroll down to employment support then it's got a referral process, it's got all the information on the project and if you scroll right to the bottom then you can um, apply online um, or you can give us a call as well. Um, or just come in. We're on the top floor of Coniston Community Centre. Just come and see us. So community learning is funded by Bristol City Council and South Gloss Council. It's targeting um, adults who've got less than a level two qualification or have mental health issues or long-term unemployed. Um, the courses we run are things such as um, Stay Calm and Count to 10, Survive in the Teenage Years, so family-based courses. Um, right the way through to pre-employment courses such as um, introduction to youth work, introduction to working with children and community development courses. So the impact of the courses, we've had numerous people come on, for example, the introduction to youth work course. They've then progressed on to the level two and level three youth work course, so they now have professional qualifications. And over the last year, four people who came on that course are now working as paid youth workers within the industry. I think anyone who would like to volunteer, it's a fantastic opportunity. It will not only enhance your self-worth, but it will also help the community, organisations like ourselves. We wouldn't exist without volunteers. So anyone wanting to be a volunteer can pop down to the volunteer centre and meet with our volunteer advisors and they will speak to them individually about what things they're interested in, um, what they've done previously, any experience, any skills, any things that they're looking for, um, where they would like to volunteer. So we make it a really one-to-one -one personal interview process. And then we have a look through the roles, and we discuss it and chat together and work out which things they'd like to apply for. So the reason I started to volunteer was I'd been out of work for quite a long time after having children, which I never expected. I'd assumed they'd be back really quickly, but it didn't work out that way. Um, and with the youngest one off to school, I needed to do something using my brain and just get out. I was, I was starting to feel quite low from just being stuck in the house. For the future, it's just something to add to my CV that shows that I haven't vegetated for the last 10 years um, and hopefully will help me find a job quicker when I decide to get back to that. Yeah, a lot of people don't realise how good it is just to feel useful. Um, there's, there's really a lot to be gained just from that in itself. So the best way if people are interested in volunteering to get in touch with us is every Tuesday we have a drop-in at the Volunteer Centre which is based in the hub directly next to the library, 10 till 12. The other way is um, looking on our website um, or our Facebook group and the best way to search for that is a Patchway Volunteer Centre. You'll get all the details through that. All the housing uh, providers across South Gloss and Bristol, um, we're not just a housing provider to our customers, we look at um, our tenants as customers usually um, because we are providing them with a service and we're not only providing them with a, with a home, we're, we're providing a service to the, those individuals whether they live on their own, whether they're elderly or whether they've got a family. So we work with Nightstone and Sovereign um, normally on a quarterly basis and those meetings are around focusing on an action plan to boost um, employment in the area and skills and training and to really empower our customers um, to, to boost things on their CV and their confidence. 
and we also look at health and well-being as well. All the housing stock is managed through the Home Choice, so somebody would need to put a um, Home Choice application in um, through South Gloss and they can get assistance with that at the South Gloss offices and unfortunately we have one based in Patchway so that's where we signpost our customers to. Um, and they would put in a home, home Choice application, complete all their information, make sure they include things like their medical history, any conditions um, that they would that that um, authority would need to know that would help them be housed um, and then their application would go through um, they'd be put on a waiting list and eventually they'd be able to bid on properties. Patchway itself has come a long way um, it's a great place for people to live it's very accessible and it's just it's just a very empowering place to live um, it has very positive vibes for whether you're whether you're older or younger it's just very welcoming and a brilliant place to live. The GP um, and the team with, around the GP, we have doctors, we have um, practice nurses in this practice and as in others, they, we have a practice clinical pharmacist as well. Um, and so we all see patients face to face or by the telephone. We work within a, a wider multidisciplinary team with our community colleagues in uh, district nursing and physiotherapy and occupational therapy. So we work alongside our colleagues in, at Stoke Gifford and Concord Medical Centre, um, Bradgate Surgery in, in North Bristol and over to Bradley Stoke as well. Um, so between us we all provide sort of similar health services. So what you need to do is to come and see um, the reception staff at the local GP practice, give them your name and address and, and details, you'll need a piece of identification as well, um, and that is it really, you just give the details and then if you have a health record in this country it will be taken from the previous GP surgery, wherever that would be in the whole country, and then brought to this practice or to a, a, whichever practice you'd registered as. So the NHS has an excellent website, nhs.uk, and another useful website to know about is patient.co.uk, and these are uh, offering self-help uh, advice and information about all manner of different medical or health problems. Specifically within the practice, each practice has a website, and that, that gives you details about booking appointments and um, requesting repeat prescriptions and that can all be done online as well as obviously uh, at the desk. Uh, we pride ourselves in being a welcoming and friendly practice um, we particularly wish to offer people um, a, a continuity of care where possible so that they would see for ongoing medical problems the same GP or, or um, health professional. And people give us feedback that they appreciate that they do know us and that they usually can see their own GP um, or get in touch with them in one way or another. I see a lot of hard-working people in Patchway. I've worked here for over 10 years now and so I've got to know a lot of the people here. Um, there's a lot of people in the community and, and voluntary sectors who go out of their way. For instance, there's the Memory Cafe just across the car park here um, and other services going in to help people in their homes or providing support to families in need, um, holidays provided or holiday care. There's the Children's Centre just round the back at the local school and they offer excellent sort of support and services to, to young families. Just as in any other part of the country there's a whole range of services available um, from routine care through the general practice to lots of help through the local pharmacies, the, the minor ailments um, service. There are emergency services either through um, urgent care in the, in the general practice or the A&E department or minor injury units as Yates and, and Southmead being our closest here. So we really want to welcome people that have dementia and support you and also to support the carers because it can be very isolating at home caring for someone full time and you need to come out as well as the person with dementia. So do please contact us, ring us or just come along and see is it for you and we'd love to welcome you to the group. The wellbeing group that we've got set up in Patchway is a drop-in session that runs every week on a Thursday morning. Um, we 
coordinated the wellbeing drop-in session to bring people in the community together to share time, to meet others, really aimed at people who are struggling to kind of get out and meet people and are looking for to start new activities and also perhaps they might be struggling with something in particular in their lives at, at this point and might be looking for a bit of support from, from others as well. So it's open to everyone and yeah, just an informal space to bring people together to, to share time really. It's a life-saving um, thing for me because it's got me out, it's got me involved. So essentially health champions are people that are qualified to level two with um, a qualification in health, uh, understanding health improvement and by passing that qualification hold the knowledge to have a good background around health and well-being uh, to on a voluntary basis either within a professional setting or a community setting to pass on um, information about local services and health-based information from trusted resources to others to help them to make choices about their health and well-being. We are the main uh, supplier of drug and alcohol treatment of all kinds in South Gloss and that means we work in Patchway too. We work out of the Coniston Centre and uh, where we provide one-to-one -one support. So people come to us through our main number and we will talk to them about what they need, what drugs they're using and also what they want. And they'll be allocated a key worker who then they meet one-to-one -one, totally confidentially and talk about what they would like to do, what changes they would like to make. Well success is different for different people. Um, it would be about them meeting their own goals, it would be about improving their life chances, improving their feelings of well-being, their ability to engage with their community, to be better parents perhaps, um, to get back into work, um, offer benefits, maybe to ha be able to maintain secure housing. So it very much depends on the individual and of course improve their health as well and their, their health outcomes, better life chances for everybody. Patchway is a really tight-knit community, everyone looks after one another and as a result of that it's a very safe community. From a police perspective um, we have not many issues here at all. We're obviously very committed to keeping people safe and part of that is that we need the eyes and ears of of everyone within the community and Neighbourhood Watch is right at the centre of that. It's, it's about transparency and getting people involved in policing. So working together, that synergistic approach with, with members of the public in Neighbourhood Watch scheme um, helps us just really reduce crime within the area. If you ever need anything, there's an inquiry office down there, there's friendly inquiry staff to take any details, then we can be passed on to us. We're here to help, you know, if they need us, we are here. Primarily, we um are here to attend emergency call outs and that could be for fires but also a lot of our work involves rescues as well um, to sort of things like um, road traffic collisions, um, people trapped in industry accidents um, and even as far as things like animal rescues and we also have um, some specialist units that do things like um, line rescue, people on, on cliffs and that, those kind of things. A lot of our work now is, in, is involving community safety um, it's becoming more that way than it is actually responding to emergency calls. Um, and some of the work that we do, we go out to people's homes free of charge and we give fire safety advice. We fit smoke detectors free of charge with that, which have a 10-year um, battery life and give them information about what to do in the case of fire and what they can do to prevent fires occurring in the first place. Obviously, we hope often people don't have to find out too much about us because we tend to be a charity that's there for people when something goes wrong, when they get either they get targeted um, by any form of racism or hate crime. We've done quite a lot of work um, with agencies like Southern Brooks to, 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 to reach out into schools and to get to children and young people because they're our future generations. So any work we can do with children and young people um, is making tomorrow a better day to try and make sure there's less discrimination, less hate crime in the future. The aim of our project 
is to work with younger people so that hopefully in the future we don't see any of these issues whatsoever. Um, and for those young people to be an active voice in leaders in their communities and schools around issues of inclusion. And then the hope is that once we get out into the communities, they're going to have a voice um, and be, yeah, driving change. So normally when I'm out and about, uh, I dispute leaflets, uh, which um, have our contact details in the back, which have the phone number, it's got our email address, web address, where we can have online referral process, where either the victim themselves or a third party can refer to us, or even if they call us, we'll be able to take a referral from them uh, without any problems. Uh, we have got multi-languages in the office, so language will not be a problem. Life can be a whole lot better if you respect difference and enjoy difference um, and, and get to know about other cultures and communities. We can ensure that Patchway is a great place to live for everybody who lives here, no matter what race, religion, sexuality, disability. We want everybody to feel welcome and safe here.